so we just got to the gym. It's like 5 a.m. We're gonna do cardio. <laughs> this is my face when I wake up. Actually, just got my period. So it's a good day. I was supposed to use the Stairmaster. He stole it from me. So, let's go for the bike. Wow, would you look at the zip? Like, aside from the fact that I really want to sleep, waking up this early is actually really nice. Wow! Honestly, I can't. I feel like some girls would prefer like guys with shoulders and chest, and, and that's attractive. But in my opinion, what's really attractive are legs. Big, muscly legs. You know when you're on your period and you were sitting for too long and then you get up? So Jawad wants me to use the Stairmaster. The old Nuri would have said no, because like more cardio. But the new Nuri is challenging herself. So we're gonna do it. Five more minutes of elliptical because I only did five minutes on the stairs. I never do this, by the way. I never jump from one cardio machine to the other. Woo! I usually stick to one. I would say stairmaster is definitely my favorite, and then comes the bike, and then third thing is this. Okay, so just did um, 20 minutes on the bike. 5 minute warm up, 10 minutes intervals. My quads were actually burning. And then 5 minutes cool down. And then I did um, 5 minutes on the Stairmaster and then 5 minutes of forced elliptical. <laughs> I was gonna stop at the bike, but you know, baby steps, so proud of myself. And by the way, period cramps are starting to kick in. Oh my god, we're talking about period in her vlog, I <laughs> feel good. So shower, did my cardio, haven't done any makeup yet. Also my makeup killed mascara and gloss, and that's it. This is the outfit. To be honest, at the beginning I was like, you know, what if this is too revealing? What if this is inappropriate? Are they gonna say something? But then I was like, I feel cute, I feel sexy, I feel confident. That's what matters. Plus I asked them if you dress code, so... <laughs> okay, we are ready! for the YouTube <laughs> Just finished! How was my speech? It was amazing! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna go get some food Because we are hungry Starving I am so bloated and in pain <laughs> And I don't feel like working out but I'm gonna try. Who the fuck cares? Shut up! I care. The people who are watching this care. The women care. They understand the pain. You don't. So, as usual, I start off my workouts always with a warm up and some mobility work. I can't tell you how much of a difference they make. Here I am doing the cat camel, also known as the cat cow. It's great for mobilizing your spine. And then I moved on to doing some shoulder rotations. It's upper body day, so it's very important that I warm up my shoulders really well um, in all of the ranges of motion. Also, this is something that I really love doing. 
um, it could be a bit uncomfortable if you haven't done it before so the more you widen your grip the easier it gets and the more you narrow your grip the harder it gets it actually allows you to feel your shoulders. I would say it's good for activating as well. And don't mind the bird, it's my mom's. <laughs> then I moved on to doing something similar to a shoulder press in front of your head and then behind your head. But I would never do it weighted behind my head. I just think it's not good for you. Then I moved on to doing this. So this exercise, it's kind of like a half Superman, I would say, but using a barbell or a stick and you pass it over your head. This is good for me because I tend to have a winging scapula. So you are warming up the muscles that hold your scapula in place. And the scapula is very important because when you're training shoulders and your scapula, the muscles around your scapula are weak it could cause some discomfort and it can cause some pain so it's important that it's in place here I'm also continuing to warm up as you can see I take my time I take my time especially uh, warming up my shoulders because if I don't and then I just start lifting uh, heavy I can seriously injure myself and I won't feel any of the exercises as well so yeah this is very lightweight Make sure to warm up, no matter how cheesy and how often you've been told to warm up. So for my first exercise, I did uh, the Smith Machine Press. I'm actually loving this exercise. Make sure you're at the right angle and you're close enough to the bar. It's really, really great. I love it. Um, I always start with a warm-up set. Um, just to get a good feel of the exercise and then I move on to working sets. I think I did this for like two working sets and one warm-up set. Training shoulders is super important. It makes us look super sexy as women and nothing better than toned and sculpted and shaped shoulders, you know, to complete your physique. drinking water in a mug because I'm fancy <laughs> then I did lateral raises I love this variation holding one uh, arm up in a static uh, motion and then just wrapping out the other arm so I do 10 reps on each side twice and you don't want to lift heavy it's very difficult here I'm only carrying like three kilos so yeah, three kilos and it was really difficult and usually for lateral raises I could go up to like 7.5 kilos But seriously when you try this, you know what I mean. I'm also wearing my brother's t-shirt by the way Does anyone find boys clothes very comfortable because I really do <laughs> and I actually forgot to get an extra t-shirt so <laughs> This is the same t-shirt I wore when I completely sweat my ass off this morning. And you thought I was gonna be wearing the shirt the whole time. <laughs> then I did, uh, this is a back exercise. So I am very uncomfortable doing single arm rows and stuff like that. So instead I prefer things like this. This is a reverse grip pull down, but on an incline bench. And it's really cool. You feel it like you get a great feel in your back. Um, I did this for also two sets, I think. So now I've changed my workout split. I would do pull, push. This way now I'm doing full upper body day, so I'm training shoulders, back, chest, everything. Here I'm doing uh, a pec deck. Um, I'm holding for five seconds when I contract. And I did this for, I guess, I think around 12 reps and also two sets. It's amazing when you hold, especially, you really, really feel your muscles working. I don't train chest very often because it's, you know, not one of... Um, my goals actually but I do for only to make sure there are no imbalances and to you know 
Let's not neglect them completely. Then I moved on to doing, this is a rear delt exercise, so basically you're on a straight upright bench and you're just pulling the bar kind of like upwards, you know, towards your chin almost. I struggle with feeling my rear delts, usually I would only feel um, my traps, uh, so I'm working on it. I feel like they're completely asleep. From here, I did dead stop skull crusher. So basically, it's a skull crusher, but you have to like stop at the bottom. Um, these are great. These are really great. I love them. Uh, my triceps are relatively weak, so I'm trying to work on them. I did this for also two sets. The last thing I did were dumbbell bicep curls, but Jawad was too tired to film me, so this was it. Okay guys, so now I'm having my post-workout meal. I have some spaghetti and some chicken and doing some work. I just wanted to reflect a bit um, on today. I know I've been talking a lot about the speech and to be honest, it was a big thing for me, even though it wasn't maybe a big thing for you guys who have been following me or seen my stories, because I love public speaking and I used to do it a lot when I was younger, especially when I was in the MUN program. And for those of you who know about it, you know that it requires public speaking skills and I was good at it and I won a couple of times and it was very easy for me to get up and speak in front of like 200 people, 100 people, you know? So today I found that it was harder. It was, my anxiety has gotten worse and anxiety is not something I talk about a lot, um, but I've been dealing with some anxiety and it definitely affects my performance and because I haven't been practicing speaking, um, public speaking or giving speeches in a long time. I wasn't as comfortable as I would have been, you know, when I was younger. But overall, I'm proud of myself for doing this because the whole time I was preparing for the speech, my anxiety was like, no, you're not going to be able to do it. You're going to mess up. You're going to freak out. And I tried my best and I did it. And I feel so proud. I feel so accomplished. Um, so yeah, I guess, you know, the more you practice something, the more you get comfortable at it and good at it, the more it becomes a habit. And so I am really looking forward for, you know, opportunities, more opportunities like this so I can get back into my thing. I love speaking in front of an audience. I love being in front of an audience. I love attention. Like I love it when I have something to deliver or something to show. So I'm hoping I can get to do that again. And once again, anyone from Inspire Academy fam, uh, if you're watching this, thank you again for this opportunity. It really made my day and it is something to remember. So quick advice for you, if you're dealing with anxiety or if you wanna do something but it's scaring you to death and it's making you very nervous, this is your sign that you should go and do it, okay? Fear is something that we have to live with, but panic is not. And you can always find ways to not panic as much and to remain calm. You can always practice. And so this is your sign. Go get out of your comfort zone. Go do something. Don't wait. Stop postponing. You know, today was very scary, but I felt 
even though I was nervous, I felt so confident and I felt so happy and I felt so alive. When you do things that scare you, that's when you make the best out of life and the best memories ever. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for all of your support. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe.